All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, and I don't know if you know it, but this is a public service announcement. Just to let you know that dengue, there is a dengue outbreak in Jamaica. There is a dengue fever outbreak in Jamaica. This slide right here will have a lot of information where you can read about what dengue is, how it's contracted, how to get rid of it, or how to go through the process of healing after you get it. Signs and symptoms to look for. Sudden onset, high fever, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle pain, headaches, stomach pain, rashes, pain behind the eyes. These are dengue symptoms. The reason why I'm doing this video is for people who are in Jamaica that might be suffering from it, that pay attention to SoFlow TV, people who have family there, or people who might be on their way there for vacation, for a short stay, long stay, whatever the case may be. You need to know that it is official. This is coming from government entities in Jamaica that there is a dengue outbreak in Jamaica at the moment. Dengue outbreak. Thanks to Loop News, government declares mosquito-borne disease epidemic. Before I go into reading this article, let me say this, that I am highly disturbed, highly disappointed, and somewhat angry because the people in a position of power seem to have a thing about them where they feel like it is okay to lie to the public. It is okay to downplay the truth. It is okay to mess up numbers, to make things seem not so bad. And then when things have gotten to a crisis stage is when they let the public know that, hey, we are in a crisis. Recently, there were concerns about a dengue outbreak. Dengue causes nearly triple, dengue cases nearly tripled. But the Minister of Health came out at the time of that report to say that there's no outbreak. Believe it or not, that same Minister of Health right now is telling us just a few weeks later that there is an outbreak. You might see the garbage pictures in this slide. That's because I know that there is a garbage problem in Jamaica. And this is one of um, the Prime Minister's initiatives for 2019 is to clean up Jamaica, get Jamaica clean again, he said. And they're supposed to be getting more garbage trucks and all this other stuff to clean up Jamaica. You have artists, they had just done a ban on styrofoam and um, plastic bags, the famous scandal bag as we call it. As you can see, this picture right here that you're looking at, this is actually a real life pileup along the shoreline because the citizens of Jamaica in many places around Jamaica they don't practice recycling and they do not practice disposing of garbage very well so what happens is because we're surrounded by water the sea washes everything back to shore or it strangles the coastline or strangles our natural reefs and this is what we get to live with now at hand as it was printed, it says, The Minister of Health has confirmed that there is a dengue fever outbreak in Jamaica as of January 3rd, 2019. At an emergency press conference at its New Kingston office on Thursday, the minister said there were 123 cases of dengue fever across the island in December. We're in January. 123 cases across the island in December and they waited until now to tell us that there is a outbreak. They denied then that there was one. Surpassing the epidemic threshold of 96. So 96 is considered to be epidemic proportions. In other words then, if you have more than 96 reported cases, we need to go into emergency action. Well, we are at 123 cases and more. And because of their dishonesty, I am forced to believe that there is way more. But they will keep it as close to that decent number as possible. 
and no one will, will be held accountable, of course. The 123 cases include suspected, presumed, and confirmed cases of dengue fever, said Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton. I think Dr. Christopher Tufton, huh, how should I say it? Let's just say should be held accountable. I'm going to leave it at that and be nice for now. Tufton also revealed that there were seven suspected dengue-related deaths across the island in 2018. But the same person said there was no epidemic, nothing to worry about. Calm down, go about your business, it's okay. Flash off the little mosquito when you hop on, pan you and bite you, it's all right. We got this under control. He said that two of those cases have actually been confirmed. He said the ministry has activated its emergency operations center along with other measures to address the issue. The health ministry is reminding that dengue fever is a mosquito-borne disease during which the person who becomes ill may get fever, headache, joint, muscle pains. To combat symptoms, you need rest and adequate hydration. Those are usually enough to see you through that period of illness. Now, like I said, if you pay close attention to this video, you will see the garbage pictures. This garbage pile up right here, this is one of the main problems in Jamaica. And remember, chicken gunya, that was actually a mosquito borne disease as well, right? And Zika, that was another mosquito borne disease as well. So, as much as we want to say government needs to do their part, yes they do. But there ain't much that government can do when the citizens aren't doing their part as well. So in other words then, if you're looking for a solution because we already know what the problem is now. The solution is make sure you don't have st still standing water around you. Make sure that you don't have a garbage pile up around you. Okay, symptoms of dengue fever, you can read right here. For those who want to know, this whole slide is filled with information. You can make sure that you stay away from areas where it's known to be a whole lot of mosquitoes out there. You can wear clothing that will cover up. For instance, let's go through the slide. So. Here's one, prevention tips. Eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes breed in standing water, so eliminate any standing water in and around your house. Two, use good mosquito repellents. To get rid of mosquitoes around your house and keep them away from you, use mosquito repellents. Three, stay in an air-conditioned or a well-screened house. Four, wear protective clothing and five, Use guppy fish in swimming pools. I don't know what that is, but we'll talk later. Now, here you have treatment for the dengue fever. If you notice that bed rest is one of them. Drink plenty of water to, to avoid dehydration. Here's one of the natural ways to help yourself papaya leaves the papaya leaf extract increases platelet count red blood cells count and acetaminophen can relieve pain and reduce fever as well all right so that's treatment for dengue fever and here are some natural remedies that you can also use Starting with a whole lot of water because you are going to be dehydrated from vomiting and diarrhea. You are probably going to be dehydrated if you come in contact with it. Now, I just told you about the papaya leaves. You can also use your orange juice, which will put back a whole lot of vitamin C and replenish your electrolytes. And of course, there is the all-powerful basil leaves. So those are natural remedies for the dengue. Alright. 
like I said, this whole slide is filled with information on how to help yourself in this crisis situation. And yes, there is officially an outbreak. It's SoFlow TV. Leave your comment in the comment section. I'm All right, so like I said, this public announcement right here was done for Jamaicans living overseas or Jamaicans going to Jamaica or Jamaicans living in Jamaica. All right. I want people to be educated so you know what dengue is, how to help yourself in this crisis, and all that. Education is power. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.